Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to do face recognition using the Deep Face Library. So basically, we will be having an image, and then we will be comparing it to a different image and identifying whether the two persons in the image are the same people or not. So in the first case, we have the same people. However, in this case, we have two different people. So the first thing that we need to make sure is that we have the images. So this one is of uh, the Prime Minister of India. Uh, Mr. Narendra Modi, his picture is here as you can see right now. Okay, I'm not going to show you the full one. The second one is also of his. So as you can see his image and then we have the ex-president of the US that is Donald Trump. So we have three images. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to install the deep face library. So we will say pip install uh, deep face deep face dash q. Okay, so it has installed. Now we are going to import it. So we will say from deep face import deep face. We will also be needing CV2. Then we will need pandas, pandas as PD. And lastly, we will also be needing the Google patch. So Google collab dot patches import CV2 underscore mshow. Okay, now it has imported everything. So we will begin with our uh, verification so we will say we will say we need the first image so we will say deep face dot verify and we will take the two images so first two images that we are going to compare are of the same person Mr. Narendra Modi so I'll copy the path from here as you can see I have copied the path and I'm going to paste it over here okay and give a space and then pass the second path so I'm going to say copy path then close this and paste it over here and I'm going to hit shift and enter. As you can see, it first downloaded uh, the, uh, the file, this weights file, and then it got us the results. So I'm going to print the results out for you. So I'm going to say out one, and you can see the results have been printed. So it says verified equal to true, which means that they are of the same people. And the distance between them is basically very, very small. So the threshold is 0 0.4. It means if this value, the distance value is greater than 0 0.4, it means they are of different people. Now, since here distance is 0 0.14, which is less than 0 0.4, so it is of the same person. Okay. The other interesting thing I need here is the facial areas. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the bounding boxes. Okay. And then I'll do the sec uh, second one also. Or let me do the second one first. So I'm going to copy this over here and then I'm going to paste it out of two and instead of this one, I'm going to have Trump's image. So I'm going to uh, get the path from here as you can see and then I'll paste it and then I'm going to hit shift and enter. So it has worked and I'm going to print out here out two. As you can see, the verification is false, which means that they are of different people and you can see over here the distance is greater than 0.4. Again, you have some facial areas over here. Now, I think it's very much evident that you can see, okay, image one, which is Mr. Narendra Modi's image that has the coordinates X, Y, W and H. So we will quickly go and create our bounding box. Let's say for the first output. Okay. So for that, I need the facial areas and then image one. So I'm going to say out one. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to say out one. And then I'm going to have facial areas. And if I hit print shift and enter, I'll get these two things. Now I need the first image. So I'm going to say image one. And I, and since I'll be getting a dictionary, as you can see right now, I'll be getting a dictionary. I only need the coordinates. So I will say values. Okay. And then I'm going to say over here, X comma Y comma W comma H. Okay. And then I'm going to hit shift and enter. So now if you print X comma Y comma W comma H, you will be getting all those values. So as you can see 171 99 here again 171 99 so basically all these values are here now what we need to do is we need to first get the image so i'm going to say in, in uh, cv 2 dot im read and then i'm going to get the image from here so obviously modi one was the image now i've got the image and now what i'm going to do i'm going to use the cv 2 dot rectangle function so i'm going to say ig is equals to cv 2 dot rec angle and then I'm going to say IG now obviously the top uh, top left coordinate is X comma Y so X comma Y and what will be the bottom right it will be X plus W comma Y plus H okay 
then I have to give the color. Uh, I have to give the color and I'll be giving the red color. So 0, 0, 255. And then finally, I'll be passing the thickness. And then I'm also going to show the image. As you can see, the bounding box has been drawn over here. So it is not perfect, but it's still doing its job. Now what I need to do is, now what I need to do is, let's see, or let's say we are going to have a database of images. So let's say I'm going to have a new folder and I'm going to call it, um, let's say fold. Okay. And I'm going to put Mr. Narendra Modi's image, second image, and then Mr. Trump's image. And let's assume for a second, this all, well, this has only two images over here, but let's say it has a lot of images. So what this will do is basically, it will take this image that will be our uh, primary key image that I'm going to say, and it is going to check with every image over here, which one it matches. Okay. So here it should match with Mo uh, Modi too, but if there are multiple images, some it will match wherever it will be equal or wherever, whether, wherever it will be to uh, the same people. And when, whenever we have a, uh, combination of images of two different people then it will not be matching okay so to do that I'm gonna say out 3 is equals to deep face dot um, find okay and then what I'm going to do I'm going to give the location of the first image which is Modi 1 I'm going to give the path of the first image and then I'm going to give the path of the folder so I'm going to say copy path and then I'm going to give the path of the folder and I'll let it run. Okay, so it has done. So I'm going to say out three and let's see what is our output. Okay, so it looks like a list. So I'm going to say of zero. Okay, so as you can see, the identity has been found. So modi2.jpg was found to be similar. Again, we have the same bounding boxes, which I showed just now. And the cosine distance is also less. So this is how you find the uh, you do facial recognition and try to find the similar faces. So I hope you understood and bye.